Welcome to part 11 of the Red Special Library online video tutorials. Uh, in the last part you saw pretty much uh, the parts of a tremolo uh, being fitted to the top layer of oak which you can see sitting on the oak. Also uh, we measured out the oak for the top and the bottom layers which I think you can probably just about see there. Uh, today we will cut these out, uh, we will also attach the parts of the tremolo to the top uh, layer of oak and show you how that is installed um, um, and it's all going to be basically screwed together and also glued. I use wood PVA for this and uh, I'll show you how to do this uh, a little bit later. As mentioned uh, a little bit uh, before uh, recording this part, um, I'm about to cut the bottom layer um, to fit the oak core. As you can see, either side of the tremolo chamber, or on the corners of where the oak will be, I've drilled two holes. Uh, these two holes are just simply to allow me to uh, navigate the corner. Um, as you don't want to put too much pressure on the blade or your jigsaw or whatever. Um, so to enable to go around the corners and rotate the body, I have drilled two, I think it's 10 mil holes, so I can uh, just turn the body and then go along uh, alongside the tremolo cavity and then go straight back up again. Um, this is quite uh, important to do if you want to do it this way. And... Uh, it will make uh, life a lot easier.
Okay, as you can see, after about 10 minutes worth of cutting, um, very circular, heavy, and the holes that we drilled at the beginning uh, really did help uh, the cutting process with turning the body, as you probably saw. Uh, now it's all cut out and all the uh, corners are square. Uh, we'll test fit our piece of oak to see if it fits. So here we go. There you go. As you can see, a nice tight fit. As I said before, this will be glued in. And after gluing, there'll be a bit more routing around the um, the, the top oak area, which is towards here. Um, and then also, what will happen after the glue has dried, uh, we'll then reprofile around the horns, which obviously was cut out uh, uh, from the uh, block board, which. Uh, we have here. I think it's that way around. Yep, there you go. Um, so we'll have to cut these uh, two dips uh, again on the bander, and then uh, that should be pretty much the bottom layer finished and uh, ready to be glued together with the top part. Okay, last week um, I showed you installing the bottom layer of oak. Uh, this time, uh, after a little few day break uh, due to the weather and everything, uh, we'll continue work on the bottom layer which will involve some routing um, and also uh, that will lead to the eventual sticking in of the top oak which you can see on the right of this uh, picture um, with the tremolo parts loosely attached to it um, since last time not a lot has happened as you can see the bottom layer has fully dried um, after it was fully dry which was about 24 to 48 hours um, luckily out here it was quite nice and warm so it dried in the 24 hour bracket um, basically after that I noticed there was a bit of um, unevenness um, on the wood. Um, basically I used a, a sander, um, it's just uh, one which is handheld and uh, it's, where, it's one where the bottom sort of vibrates and then sands the surface. Um, you can get uh, these sanders, uh, band sanders, which uh, go around in a loop, which are a little bit more effective. Um, but I've got a handheld one, which the base just vibrates on and sands the surface. And it's done quite a nice job here. As you can see, it's cleaned up quite nicely. Uh, no major gaps, which I'm quite pleased with, because um, you need it all sort of in contact with each other, so uh, you get a nice tight bond with the glue. Um, the only real major cutting on this one, as you can see, are around the horns. Uh, just the uh, need to put back the uh, small little dips at either side of the neck pocket. Uh, but today, around the tremolo area here, we'll be routing uh, where the main plate, so the bolt retainer plate, will be, which is about five mil thick. So we'll route back the front um, to a depth of five millimeters, and I'll tell you how deep it will go. Also the top oak because uh, we didn't cut all the way through the top layer um, I think we left about two millimeters of ply on top so it hides the oak and also it gives you a flatter surface to apply the veneer. Um, what we're going to do on the bottom layer to account for that is we're going to wrap two millimeters down. Um, so it will have basically the same shape of the top oak uh, rounded into the bottom layer at, at two millimeter depth. 
uh, this will um, account for the low uh, the, the, the amount left on the uh, the top layer of uh, of the body where we uh, left the ply in place okay the bottom layer of oak is now uh, as can be uh, as you can see clamped to the table with two key clamps um, I'm using quite a small router bit for this job because it's not a lot of area to cut away um, to do the uh, the front plate of the tremolo which is the bolt retainer plate uh, I'll probably sort that to a bigger router bit when we'll do the, uh, the surface of the of the top oak Okay, just so you can have a closer look from the other side. As you can see, we have rounded about five millimeters into the face of the uh, the uh, front of the tremolo chamber on the front of the oak. As you can see, we have to carry on in the corners, as uh, the outer bit is not square; it's circular. So we had to carry on, so we we could uh, completely put the plate in. Uh, you could see on the end of the video, I was just test this and see if everything was okay and as you can see it is okay everything lines up there everything's uh, flush to the front um, may need a little bit more off there but generally that's not too bad and that's okay next part will be the routing of the uh, where the top oak goes